Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Second day of clipping the mic to my hair and hoping it doesn't fall in the water. Oh. 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 It's starting to rain and it's a little windy. So I hope that's not like fucking up sound quality or anything. Uh, but uh, welcome to back day. It's a good day. Any upper body day is always a good, always a good day. Uh, today's subscriber shout out, Javino. That man's been commenting quite a lot recently. So gotta give him the shout out for today. If you want to be shouted out, just uh, comment a lot so that I see your name repeatedly and you're on my mind. As all of you are, you're all on my mind every single moment of the day. <laughs> um, what was it? We are at, let's see the subscriber count. We are at 4,037 subscribers. So thank you so much to everyone that is subs I love you too, mom. What is this? Oh, moving makes it worse. It's a little frog. Ooh. <clears throat> Put that right there. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, if you want to help grow the channel, I would be really appreciative if you did that because I'm torturing myself every day with cold water. <laughs> oh, thank the Lord. Do a little flex for you guys. Ah. How we looking? <clears throat> not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, first meal of the day. My mom made some delicious looking stir fry. There's at least 50 grams of protein in here because you only need six ounces of chicken to get 50 grams of protein. So there's at least 50 grams in there. I'm just gonna count it as 50, just to make sure that I'm getting my protein. If there's a little over, whatever. Can't go wrong with having a little extra protein. But also got some cuties, cause you know, vitamin C I guess, but I just like the flavor. Gets a little bland eating healthy. So fruit is definitely, what keeps me not wanting to kill myself whenever I eat bland. But that is it for the first meal. So I will see you at meal number two. All right, only one meal in the tank, unfortunately. Not the best for gains, but I've been caught up with work all day. Unfortunately, I mean, made a lot of money, thank the Lord. But, you know, I still want my, my gains to be good. But changing up the back day a little bit, now that my wrist is starting to feel better, uh, we are doing some pull-ups. That's fun. I did assisted pull-ups for a warm-up. Try it out. I can feel my back a lot better whenever I do that. So that might be my new form of warming up the lats. It was nice. But uh, two sets, all out to failure pull-ups. Bringing them to the chest. And then once I can't bring them to the chest anymore, bringing them to like the neck. And then once I can't bring any more to the neck, bringing it to like my head-ish. That's a way of, I'm essentially just shortening the range of motion. It's like cheat reps essentially, while also keeping the good form aspect in check. So, still need a, a wrist wrap though, unfortunately.
Next two sets, we're doing a lat pull down. I mean, lat push down, straight arm lat pull down. I guess that's the technical term. But we're doing it a little different. Usually, like I'll have it here, but I'm going back to what I used to do, where we're at the bottom. We're like here. See how there's getting like a fat stretch on the lat? Then we're gonna slightly go up as we bring our arms back so that we can get that full range of motion. But most important part is right here because that's gonna stretch the lat. The stretch on any single muscle is the most important. drop set it that wasn't enough reps <sighs> all right two things that I learned recently from uh, Renaissance periodization. Fantastic science-based lifter. Definitely suggest watching him. You probably do if you're watching me. The man has almost two million subscribers. Fuck, hold that thought. All right, like I was saying. So since, if you notice, if you're gonna stick in that normal like eight to 12-ish range of like hypertrophy, it's, it's different for everyone, but still if you're gonna stick in that normal range, back sets tend to be a little shorter because of the range of motion. It's just a lot quicker. So to make the sets stay around that like optimal time under tension required amount of time, you want to up the amount of reps. If I was going to like, let's say my wrist was 100% good and I was throwing around some heavy weight on barbell row, then I think it'd be understandable to lower the reps a little bit and kind of have it more strength-based. But since we're not doing that, we are going to up the reps a little bit and that requires lowering the weight, sadly. I know, I know, very sad, very sad. Hurting the ego sucks, but 
It's what you gotta do. Oh, but second thing, look what handle I'm using. I know, right? When I first saw this, I was like, huh? Try it out. This shit is amazing. Probably because of my short wingspan, essentially. I think it feels good because it's not all the way out here like a regular uh, one of those bars. And it's not like right here. So it's like directly in the middle for my short ass, essentially. <laughs> so definitely like you gotta figure out how you should hold it properly because when I was testing it out, sometimes it was going like this, like that as well. You need to essentially put all your weight on your pinkies and keep it like this. Fantastic, I love it that way. That's also another tip for back. If you wanna feel your back better, try to eliminate these two fingers whenever pulling. Obviously, still keep them there, like they should still be involved, but your primary force should be pulling from like this part of your hand, uh, these two fingers right here, your pinky and ring finger. When I started doing that, it's been years of me doing it, but still, but when I started doing that, I was like, whoa, I can, I can feel it in a whole new way. I don't know why, but that's just how it works. I guess it's cause like, if you're pulling like this, yeah, that makes sense. Like, I'm just gonna exaggerate with my hand movements. But if you're pulling like that, that would make sense instead of here, that you could feel your back more, just like biomechanically. But yeah, let's get into this shit. Super low weight. I only have 120 on here. But you know, higher, higher reps, horrible mind-muscle connection to my back, so we gotta do something like that. Holy shit, that hurt. That felt really, really, really good. Jesus, whoo. If it continues to feel this good, I might just do this one row movement for all of my thickness exercises. Vertical rows, well, vertical pulls for width, horizontal pulls, for thickness. And by thickness, I mean like generally, not like scientifically, but if you go here, you're gonna hit like the lats. You go here, you're gonna hit more upper back rhomboid area. And that's the thickness. But yeah, that was really good. I'm excited for the next set. I feel like a bear. Since my mobility is so trash, I, uh, I have to scratch the majority of my back on like a, on some type of semi-sharp object, like a corner of a wall or something. That's the only way. You know, I used to have good flexibility too. I was a Taekwondo kid when I was younger. <laughs> so like I, I was close to being able to do a split at one point and like I, I was just overall flexible. Um, and I used to, you guys can probably do this, but you know, when you go like that and then you grab the two finger, your fingers, 
yeah, I used to be able to do that as well. But as I have gotten more and more muscular while simultaneously ignoring flexibility work and mobility work, I have lost all flexibility whatsoever. So if you are someone who is uh, new to working out, just start the habit now, bro. Like I, I stretch like once a week, <laughs> like a month ago or so, I was like, I'm gonna start uh, stretching. <laughs> I'm gonna start stretching and I'm gonna record it every day and do like a little segment or something. I think it lasted like three days. <laughs> Yeah, a little unfortunate. I'm not as disciplined as you might think. I know like, yes, I've been working out and eating healthy, blah, 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 for almost seven years. And you think that that makes me more disciplined than you, which in a, in a way it does. But just in this one facet of life, I'm still an undisciplined, degenerate ass motherfucker, just like you. Literally, I have to, uh, if I want to start a habit, I literally have to change my environment to, to accommodate for that habit. So, like, well, I guess I should, I'm gonna talk about it anyways, fuck it. Uh, stopping vaping. I'm very good at it when I'm not around people that vape often. But if I'm around people that vape often, it's extremely hard to quit. So this goes with you guys when it comes to lifting. If you want to be, if you want to be consistent with lifting, hang around people that lift. Crazy, right? My two best friends growing up for a long time, shout out Parker and Tyler. Um, they both been on like uh, occasional videos. But every day after work, I mean, after school, this gym actually, I went to the high school across the street. Every day, whenever I started lifting, walk across the street, get a workout in, mom com comes and picks me up after work. You know what I mean? But it, if I did not have them, that environment of like, oh, let's go lift, let's do it every day, blah, 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 I would not be as consistent as I am now. So, that's like the people that they get the fancy schmancy gym, but it, it's an extra drive. Let's say it's 25 minutes to get there. You're more likely not to go because it's just a longer drive. Compa Fuck, I'm just gonna keep talking. Comparatively to if you went to the gym five, 10 minutes around the corner, you would go to the gym more, right? So you need to create your reality by putting yourself in the proper environment. If you are surrounded by people and uh, certain environments, places, whatever the fuck, that do not accommodate for your goals and what you are trying to do, you need to change that. And I understand that's easier said than done. Like maybe you wanna get rid of that friend that has been a just not the best friend, but like, you know, haha, -ha, we've known each other since fourth grade or whatever, but he's still not good for your life. <laughs> I got the light now. Um, fuck, he's still not good for your life or she, you know what I mean? And you need to cut them off. And I know that's extremely hard, but you have one life, bro. And that whenever you die, all the bad th things you have said slash done will not be a thing anymore. So just do it, whatever that thing is. Cutting off that friend, starting that side business. Uh, you know what I mean, just do it. It's gonna be better in the long run.
I'm doing this for the rest of the pulling movement. That burnt. drop set. Rear delts, five sets, only gonna show you two. Still keeping up with the, the, uh, why am I forgetting the word? The cue of doing like arms completely straight and trying to go and like trying to touch as much space as possible. So like maybe if I had my arms in a little bit, that's less space out all the way, more space being touched, and we're thinking of out and back, not just back. That's something that I really enjoy, that one cue of going out and back instead of just back, fantastic. I don't know why, like, it doesn't feel like the movement is changing, but I feel it so much better in my rear delts. Oh. Obviously got to do this. Fuck the people that make matrix. Well, the new matrix machines. So ass. I'm gonna complain about this every time. Why does this not go all the way in? Why is this fucking up my range of motion? So annoying. Oh. <sighs> 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 
That feels so good on the rear delt. All the way extended. Touch as much space as possible. It's so much harder to do more reps whenever you're doing this technique. <sighs> Fuck it, we'll do a drop set. I don't feel like that was enough. Look at the magnificent pump. Pre-rear delt, the back pump was immaculate. It's still pretty good now, but still. Damn, we looking thick, boys. Fuck. I turned up the, the music because I've been forgetting to turn it back on. <laughs> and now it's so loud and you guys are just getting ads that they're not paying me for. <laughs> Speaking of ads, fuck this. Dang pain, LA Fitness. If they want to go around leaving their advertisement fucking right here for everyone to see, you gonna chip me in? Where's my money? That, that's literally my whole job here <laughs> to make this place money. Like the fuck? I ain't leaving that right there. They can contact me. Fuck. Turtle shell right there if I've seen one.
Oh yeah, I could tell. That side chest was looking fantastic. Alright, next two meals of the day. We got, I'm not gonna be able to show you it because I'm filming and driving illegally, but uh, it is a Fairlife protein shake, 42 grams of protein and a 30 gram protein bar. Not the 50 and 50 that I want, but partly the reason that I go for more protein than I need is for situations like this and I'm really just trying to get all my protein in as quick as possible because it's really late um, little little fact for you guys um, something I already talked about but protein companies they lie to you uh, they can artificially raise the amount of protein within the protein products by raising the magnesium and magnesium is how they measure the protein so on paper it has more protein within actuality it does not so do not rely on protein supplements like i am currently doing um and also next meal after that which i am currently going to is uh burgers very nice very nice i like that i'm not gonna be having the bun with it simply just because of the fact of like and I'm trying to get lean I'm not trying to get fat so we <laughs> cannot be having those buns I've been uh, my weight has been stagnant for probably about a week now maybe a little more so that means I got to change something up can't be slacking on the diet as much as I have been unfortunately but whatever but while we're here fact of the day you know I was I was watching more of the Renaissance periodization guy um, and because you know really smart dude I learn a lot from him but he is not a fan of cheat reps and if you know me, I'm going for cheat reps. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I was listening to his reasonings and essentially he said that instead of doing cheat reps, just like if you can't do any more high quality reps, just stop the set, take a break for a second and then keep going or do a drop set so that all of your reps are high quality instead of a certain amount being you know shitty quality towards the end and uh, so I, I started thinking i was like okay why not just uh do that and then on top of that do some cheat reps right he said it's better for tracking your workouts if you do not do that Fuck right like that would make sense if you actually track your workouts i don't really track my workouts back when i was uh trying to get stronger in certain lifts i would track those but my main idea is you know if you can't do any more reps you're probably good you know what i mean you probably did enough damage to the muscle so I'm gonna play around more with uh, what's it called? Myo sets, I think that's what he called them, which I do pretty often. I just didn't know the name of it, which is just where you stop for a second, take a break, break, 
and then keep going so that all your reps are high quality or do drop sets, which I do both. So we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll, since I don't track my reps, I'll still throw in some cheap reps at the end because like, you know, extra stimulus, why not? But uh, I'm gonna count that as fact of the day just because it's like, hey, that's, that's not something I do. You know, I still put cheat reps in there. But if it's gonna make me grow, I don't care how the fuck I grow. Like, if I, if I grow more by not doing cheat reps, fuck it. That's what we're gonna do. You know what I mean? But, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, burgers. Uh, definitely going to be 50 grams of protein worth in there. I'm going to try and snag an extra burger so that, you know, I'm evened out on protein from the other two meals not having 50. But, uh, yeah, that is essentially it. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We are at, uh, like... 4,060 subs, I think, something like that. I think we've gone up like 20, 30 subs within the day. So like, hey, that's pretty cool, right? That's nice. Not as much as the past few days because the past few days we've been skyrocketing, bro. Literally, it's been like 300 subs within a week or some shit. I like that. But uh, yeah, so if you would like to help me grow the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I would really, really, really appreciate it because, you know, I'm trying to make this my thing. I'm trying to make this my job. And if the faster I can make this my full-time job, the faster the quality of the, uh, the videos will go up simply because it's like, hey, if I'm putting all day into thinking about how am I going to make this video better? Don't you think the video is going to be better? Of course it is. So, help me help you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Help me help you, bro. I, it doesn't just help me. It helps you. <laughs> yeah, but uh, with that being said, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for Arm Day.